They call the game Fahrenheit, and then all the temperatures are measured in Celsius. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing That's those crazy Europeans just taking American yeah, terms they know nothing about. <laughs> but especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Connor. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting. Turns out the for bad feelings just the outrageous hour. prices they're asking so, here at the diner. What happened? Homicide. Yeah, eight bucks for like a uh, some steak and fries. Oh, uh, what is this, 2018? <laughs> what were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah. yeah. Kate Despite Morris, eating for three hours, he just left a whole plate of steak and eggs there. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Finally, we can switch the outer guy. <laughs> this is so you can play good cop, bad cop. If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed. Hell with me, they're both bad cups. <laughs> I guess it's true. Anything can happen. We'd never leave the house. Well, okay, we have a new character at the very least. Well, two, so it's important <laughs> that we go visit the bathroom. <laughs> And what better way to commemorate this than joyous occasion? Tyler, <laughs> Mom, this is a rest good, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you covered the killer's scent. Don't piss too many times, so she'll fall to depressed. <laughs> Seems the killer repeatedly flushed each toilet before and after performing the murder. <laughs> Some sort of ritual? It belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, and we'll know for sure. Now, what if Tyler screwed up the entire scene by peeing over the murderer's pee? <laughs> Blood on the call all of the killer must call all the newspapers. We've got the the flusher on our hands. <laughs> No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy Tyler still looks like him. he's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some problems. That's just his idle animation he pees. Look, no there's a lot of important standing. evidence in that urinal. <laughs> he's getting all the facts straight. He's making sure he's doing it right. He's looking up a how-to uh, on his phone. How to pee. Several wounds on the left side of the chest. Area of the heart. How to self murder? Appear to be knife wounds. <laughs> and it's just a link to the how to murder page. <laughs> <laughs> just do this in reverse. Man, stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. 
Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. All I know is that, you know, getting stabbed in a toilet sounds really like the best way to go. I can't believe you did too good at hiding your own murder. <laughs> now how are you going to solve it? <laughs> oh my god! Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer was I can tell from out here. <laughs> I can smell the money. Well, I think we did enough here. Wow, the best cops in the town. This diner is starting to bore me. Hey, wait a minute. Go back in there. Wash your hands. Are you kidding me, you animal? <laughs> Future friend? I'm one of those R no wash guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said he's going to play a bad cop, and uh, here we are. <laughs> he sure is. Tyler's also one of those no soap like truthers. <laughs> Looks like he barely touched his food, only spent 12 hours <laughs> munching on it. Hmm. Only 20 microbytes were taken. He repeatedly stabbed at his meal with a fork. Didn't take any bites. Some sort of ritual? <laughs> now Tyler's gonna round, go around just touching everything, being like, ha ha. Thanks. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. First Let's off, can I get you. some steak and eggs? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and out as junkies, you name it. Are you hiring? The till's been robbed <laughs> Murder? Your fries normally drive people into murderous rage. <laughs> such a nice guy. Is it something in the coffee? They say it's the best in the town. Is there some secret? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He I notice you don't day. charge for coffee. Might that be a motive for murder? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas. Before the murder happened. He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Yeah, did you hear any, uh, sounds of pooping? No, it was gross. I didn't notice anything. <laughs> What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Hey, cheer up. Try to be strong, Kate. I know that this Think is about it. Could have been you that died. Could have been all of you. Your family. I mean, listen, John died in the toilets. At least he died happy, you know? Most right. places like this get two or three murders a year. <laughs> some people, you know, some people, they die in their beds. And I think that's unfair. John, he really, uh... Like, got a very privileged death. <laughs> you know, when you die, you void your bowels, so it was a really good thing he went before he died. It would have been uh, pretty embarrassing for him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. has got beat himself after death. Yeah, they could have been like that. It would have been much worse. Ah, he's dead and soaked in urine. I love it. He even made a joke when he came in. 
Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? Do you I'll think the joke was from a Garfield joke book? <laughs> Do you think that you could come down to This the is important to the case. Help us construct a likeness of the killer. The joke was oh, it's so cold it's like murder yeah. out there. <laughs> oh, it's uh it's not so funny anymore. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make this sure guy's gonna fight another body in a bathroom. <laughs> another murder while we were here. This time they found, right. found dead of a swirly. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to those guys. See ya. Case closed. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Man, Tyler's just on his damn phone like that typical millennial. <laughs> Tyler's got the keys to the car. I better go find him. Now, where did he go? That crazy guy. Where could my partner be? <laughs> let's leave. Oh, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around. That doesn't sound that important. Eh. Again, playing bad cop. Alright, so I guess the game is railroading us into trying to solve something. <laughs> Anything can happen, my ass. Uh, David Cage's typical bad game design. All of your choices will have consequences. Like, if you don't follow the script, you don't get to proceed. <laughs> well, back at it again. Better take one more piss while I've got the time. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. That's Great. not a toilet, Tyler. <laughs> on the handle. Okay. To Tyler, everything's the toilet. I could agree with that. I could agree with that for sure. Okay, you're back here. Just wash your hands. Future friend, no. Hey, Carl, Future friend, I'm gonna take a no. look outside. See if I can find anything. Well, oh, cool. There's a hobo here. <laughs> Yo, what? hey, hobo. You know anything about this knife? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no person saying mean things about cops. Man, that's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I oh, have to walk for the extra steps. I have. I hate it. I have to walk three minutes. It's one of those relatable day-to-day -day situations that brings you ten points closer to death. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go back in from the back door. Guess it's time to kill myself. This is what Carla meant when she said that she knew this was going to be a bad day. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, Tyler. You ready to no, go you're supposed to talk to the guys to give them the knife. Are you sure? Oh, okay. I, I guess not. Look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. We Fuck can do us. our jobs. Okay, let's bust. I'm sorry, Terps. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> I'm dead tired. <laughs> Well, I guess we found the murderer. He's just gonna take the knife with them. There's that peeping bird again. <laughs> He's the real criminal. Honestly, 
It's 2018. Why aren't birds subject to human law? <laughs> what? Oh, not about what you said. I meant the scene, but... <sighs> it's just discrimination. It's what it's always been. A nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. Oh, no, I did kill someone. My sheets are bloody. Did I wasn't dreaming. Maybe this is just me, but happened. does does anyone actually sleep spread eagle like that? Like work. only after our murder. Okay, <laughs> that's the real mo. I mean, you know, that's what I do. So uh, my girlfriend knows that my bed is my territory and not hers. <laughs> Just gonna do some jogging around the room. Just gonna really, oh, I gotta get my morning exercise in. Before the accident. God, everyone is such a sad sack in this. <laughs> oh, my loving family. I'm so sad about this. Maybe the internet can make me happy. All right. Well, time to visit my daily website uh, to get a little bit sadder. Deathkids.com. <laughs> Oh no, they took down R slash no soap. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah, nothing takes my mind away from murder like War Thunder. Let's go. L is Lucas a 12 year old in 95? Look, he just loves Crimson Skies so much that he got a wallpaper for it. Oh, ain't that always the case? No messages in your inbox. Not the limit. Not part. killed again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> wow. And that's all three news items. It's everything uh, going on. God, I love being online. Serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Well, let's see what messages we got. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after... The keys I don't care. <laughs> I'll grab them when I'm ready to <laughs> Uh, video game expects me to care about Lucas's sex life. <laughs> Instead, I'll just stare at this key. The shiny, shiny key. Not gonna, not gonna pee while you're in here. Not gonna do anything. I'm thinking about it. Pee or shower? <laughs> pee. Well, you know. Pee. Wow. <laughs> Here's something a real, like, sicko, like a murderer would do. Pee in the shower. Hmm. That is something, but I fear technology just wasn't advanced enough back in those days. <laughs> Fair. Oh no! I would have to pee three more times to be happy again! Ah, uh, time to take a shower. Just gotta leave on my underpants. My daily hot water rinse.
just gonna pour all this hot water over my open wounds. Knowing that Lucas Kane is a never nude honestly makes him feel more relatable, and I'll say it, I think he's innocent. I think we should let him go. Jeez, is there nothing in this room that can make you happy? Uh, how about some theory of a dead man? <laughs> Great. My favorite four-song mixtape. Alright, I gotta quit this before these guys at YouTube censor this video. <laughs> we'll just snap open take away that my book of Kung Fu. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> god, I wish... I wish we could do the moves right now. Hey, how about you finish some of those beers you got on your coffee table? Every morning I open Palm's Flam, a ritual dagger into my arm. <laughs> what do you think, Peeping Bird? Did I do it? <laughs> that a yes? Uh, Peeping Bird? Damn it. I have no friends. <laughs> well, better get back inside before I freeze to death. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was you. I thought he just, like, stared at the door and gave up. <laughs> Maybe that bird will come back, you know? It's my only friend I've got left in this whole world. I could use an animal companion. I am a ranger. New York police, please open the door. Oh no, not during one of my episodes. Hey, what's that? Stay where you Wait, are and put your hands what? in the air. What? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, it's the premonition, I see. We somehow missed this. Oh. Mind. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Weird. I see a trading oh, card. Yes. Go get that. That'll, that'll cure your depression for sure. Nice. Aw, oh, yeah, bonus! Now let's celebrate with a rousing song. Plug in that guitar, buddy. No? Well, maybe some food. Mmm. Gonna bleed all over my last carton of milk. <laughs> yeah, what motherfucker has a fridge with only one carton of milk? Who drinks milk like that? I like the tasteful picture of the udder on the carton. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to get some real food in us. Some real food, water. <laughs> oh, that was the greatest some, food of all. That was some tart milk. Better get a chaser. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, time whoa. for breakfast. A cart with a fee on it. And my eight cans of duck soup. Finally, guys, I got back my fee cards. <laughs> the clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. Oh, thanks for pointing out where the washing machine is, game. Gamers might not know what that is. <laughs> it's true, honestly. I, I haven't figured it out. I think it's a second toilet. <laughs> I, I think it's like one of those fancy Japanese toilets that sprays water up your ass. <laughs> right. Look, nothing's gonna make this guy feel better than a good old bidet. New York police, please oh open the door. God. The police, they know, they, they've come to arrest me. Hmm, maybe if I distract police, him with my up. hot sizzling abs. <laughs> maybe if I just eat the key, he won't be able to get in. Last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> or not. I'll just do this again. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. This seems fine. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, you, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around? Dude, your look apartment? at your arms. No. Listen, I, I promise you, everything's fine. Uh, do you mind if I just go ahead and look around anyway, sir? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. Sir David Cates doesn't understand that police needs warrants to, like, search a house in America, right? Uh, seems that way. Well, he has the banana sleeve of power, so he can do anything he wants. <laughs> Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Since he has a gold fringe, he is a vessel... Stay out of there! Don't pee my toilet pick! <laughs> sheet. He's gonna see the bloody sheet. Get ready. Kill him. Uh, no, please don't go in there. Uh, I checked <laughs> off in there. Yeah. Why not? You beat the thing, but it also seems like the most suspicious thing in the world. Uh, my Doberman is locked in there. He's a little nervous. <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, he believes <laughs> that? What? Yeah. Wow, that brings down the suspicion? <laughs> uh, please don't go in there. There is no dead body. Oh, I see. <laughs> don't go in that room. It's full of bees. <laughs> There's my nervous, really silent dog. <laughs> woof, woof. Oh, I think that's him. That's the haunted half of the apartment. Wow, mastermind Lucas Kane. <laughs> I feel so much better for tricking that cop. All right. Good news, guys. We got off scot-free. I don't have depression anymore. <laughs> well, thank God. Time to celebrate. You did your best to be caught, and you failed. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time to close the window and then open it again for a little victory window. <laughs> Closing and opening. <laughs> I gotta head into work and bleed all over the office. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. No, let's just go out of the house. <laughs> the off to work. I don't get it. I can't go out looking like this. I'm way too sexy right now. <laughs> Gotta give the fellas at the office a chance. In a world where anything can happen as long as you wear pants. Well, let's listen to a little victory message before we put on pants. Yesterday at seven thirty. Oh, it's the same one. Who cares? A woman wants to have sex with me. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my ex again. Oh, thank God. Good thing I soundproofed my bathroom. <laughs> Awkward model shift there. Hey, you know, when you put on bandages, you look ten times better. Ah, uh, good job. Now I look like one of the androids from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> You say that like it's a bad thing. Listen, I'm not gonna say anything or the threat will roast me alive. <laughs> Just like that cop tried to do. Yeah, but we got him with our little Doberman <laughs> fib, which we pull out every time. Every day. Police can't enter your house if it would upset a dog. It is in the Constitution. Well, before we go out, let's see what's in the newspaper. Time to check the funnies. Massacre in Ooh, East Carnage. East. I love that Spider-Man villain. Oh, these aren't funny at all. Restroom of a local 
restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Man, this Garfield comic is weird. <laughs> oh. Wait, I didn't laugh once. Did you do that? I've been reading the funny papers for over 20 years and haven't laughed yet. Maybe one day. They didn't mention my good looks in this at all. Get it? The dog is large and that's inconvenient. So, okay, uh, we have a choice now, but uh, we're gonna save that for next update, I think. So, hey everyone, thank you for watching, and see y'all next time.